Alrighty, hello guys, so I can be Pexis back to another video on my channel. Today we are checking out this thing right here, which is actually the soul. As it says on the top, it actually says soul on the top. Now this thing right here is actually a solar powered aircraft, and uh, yeah, 100% solar powered, which is actually kind of incredible. So we're going to try and test this thing out today, and uh, yeah, fly around with it. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so something that I do actually want to say is that I actually tried to build one of these in the uh, in the past. Uh, pretty much as soon as solar panels actually came out, I tried to build one of these. And it just wouldn't work. But in this situation, uh, we actually have some modular engine starters, which then go through a flywheel, uh, or three, and then into a bunch of gearboxes into a propeller, and presumably that's actually going to work, which is incredible. I, I don't see how that's going to work, but yeah, let's try it. So, sit in our little seat. Wait, what does that say? Set time to 12. Right, it has to be 12. Uh, there we go, pretty much. Okay, excellent day. We got power right there. Uh, and I guess we can just go. Take off without pull up. Okay, right, so press 6. Throttle it up. Okay, I don't know whether we have to keep that on. Presumably we do. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I don't know how this is going to work, but sure. Is, are the brakes on automatically? I don't know if the brakes are automatically on or not. I'm assuming they are since like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're in the sky though, so this is good. The solar power is actually working, guys. This is incredible. Okay, where's our battery? Our clutch is right there. Okay, good. Our airspeed is right there. Apparently it's 24 for stall, so let's not stall. Alright, that's all good. Alright, we're- it's- I mean, it's working out. It's actually flying. This is cool. One thing I do actually want to say, though, is that- uh, Well, I don't know if there is a battery. I I'm assuming there isn't actually- No, there isn't, is there? There's no battery on this thing, so... Yeah, we don't actually know what the battery level is, because there isn't one. It is literally just flying from the sun. That's excellent! That's- that's actually so cool. Also, just as a side note, we totally have the ability to, uh, have a passenger in this thing. Uh, as you guys can see right here, we can actually sit in the back, which is amazing. Uh, and then there is actually a bit behind this. Uh, with a... What is that on the floor? A first aid kit, we've got a... Uh, a welder and a fire extinguisher. Interesting. Let's try and fly to, like, another island. I don't know, what's that over there? Let's try and fly over there, and we'll try and land it on that island. Seems like a good idea to me. This honestly doesn't seem like the right airport to be landing on, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, I, mean, I say airport, I mean island. Uh, there isn't actually a uh, runway there. We probably shouldn't land there, to be totally honest with you guys. I don't know where else we should go though, maybe back. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back to the, uh, the creative base and see if we can land it there. Um, I don't know how this is gonna land. I'm assuming it's actually gonna be pretty easy to land, but... I really don't know. I, I don't want to be, like, too aggressive with its turns. But I guess I am actually being pretty aggressive with its turns. So I guess that's... It's fine. It's alright. Okay, so let's return back to base and see if we can put this thing on the ground. It looks cool. It actually looks really cool. Okay, so if you guys haven't worked out who actually made this yet, it was actually another plane by Talas, which is uh, amazing. I, I feel like you can sort of see that it was built by him. I, I don't know why, but I don't know. Something tells me when I just look at this that it was built by uh, Fails, Talas. Um, or as Endo says, Thales. Thales? Thales. I think he says Thales. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's unreal that this thing can just fly, uh, via solar power. It's actually pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, we're gonna try and get ourselves to a point where we're gonna land. And then we're just gonna plop it down on the ground. And, uh, hopefully that'll be okay. Okay, okay, we're coming in for a landing, guys. We are coming in for a landing. Is this gonna be okay? Who knows? We can actually like clutch down if we need to, but there's there's not a real need to do that because this thing's actually pretty slow anyway. Um, our airspeed is actually 36 meters per second is actually pretty quick to be fair. Considering this thing is solar powered only, that is incredible. <laughs> That's actually really good. Okay, so let's go in for a proper landing here. Alright, see if we can uh, get ourselves going the right direction. Yeah, okay, excellent. Okie dokie. Throttle back. Here we go. Okay, excellent. Press 6 to turn that off. We are gliding on down. And we have landed. That's sick. 
Also, the whole suspension thing for the, the cockpit is actually amazing. I really like that design. That's cool. Um, but there we go. We're on the ground. Everything seems to be in one piece. This thing totally works. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. Wow. Okay, so just because I really feel like trying it, let's go ahead and try something out here. So delete this. Wait, what is that? <laughs> That's just one of the dials. Okay, don't delete anything. Let's get ourselves an anchor. Okay, and we're just going to whack it straight on the... Oh, we can't put it on the front. Uh, maybe up there. Actually, we could probably put an anchor there. Yeah, we'll put it right there. We're going to try and tow one of these into the sky with another one of these. I know that doesn't seem like a good idea, but I want to see if it's powerful enough. Um, if we start the engine on the other one, I don't, I, I want to see if this will work. Let's just, let's just try it. Okie dokie. So here we go. We've got two of them lined up. Let's go ahead and grab some rope from here. Literally just attach it to the rear one. And then we'll start up the engine on the front one. We'll run to the back, start up the engine on the back one. And see what happens from there. I'm sure everything will be fine. So let's go ahead and just, I, I guess, start it. Uh, re release the brakes. Press six. Throttle up to full. And leave that like that. Good. It is currently tugging this one, which we'll jump into. We'll press four. We'll press six. And we'll throttle this one up to full as well. This one seems more full than that one. Not going to lie. I don't know what's going on. Can I run to the front of that one? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, let's see what happens. I think they're going to crash into each other. All right, that one seems to have... Okay. They both seem to have just fallen off the end of the runway and are now both in the water. That didn't go to plan. Not going to lie. Okay, so this time we are not going to full throttle with the front one. We're just going to go ahead and attach it and then we're not going to full throttle with it. Okay, so maybe we don't have to start the engine. In fact, let's see if we can actually pull this one into the sky. Because they do seem pretty glidey. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So get inside this one. Press four and press six. Okay, that starts the engine. We're going to pull some slack out of it. Okay, good. That's going to pull the slack out. We're then going to jump into this one. And we're going to press four and six. And we're going to have a little bit of forward momentum on this one. All right, get back into this one if we can. And go. Okay. This doesn't seem like it's going to go well. I'm not going to lie. That one's gone pretty sideways. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay. Yeah, no, this isn't working. All right, here we go, guys. We are not actually going to do the rear one this time. We are just going to go with the front one and see what it can do. I'm sure it's not going to be able to pull that thing into the sky. But we are damn well going to give it a go. There we go. We are gaining speed. Okay, what speed are we at? We're at... Oh, it's not fast enough. Guys, it's not fast enough. What if we do actually start the second one? Why is the second one always faster than the front one? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so that one fell. And so did this one. Sag! All right, never mind. I feel like my test is just never going to work, especially with the way that I'm trying to pull it. I don't know why I've put the thing up there instead of down here. Realistically, it should probably be on the nose, but never mind. So... We are going to actually try it one last time, okay? And the way we're going to do it is we're going to attach these two together, okay, which is excellent. We're then going to start the engine on the rear one, which seems weird. So press four, press six. We're going to pull it right up behind this one. And we're going to throttle it up to full. Seems weird, I know, but then we get in the front one. All right, start the engine. Okay, here we go. Okay. So far, so good. We're at 16. It stalls out at 24, remember? We're still good. Ah, oh, no, come on. Speed up faster. We're almost at 24. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh, no, the rear one is pulling me upwards. And we have crashed into the water yet again. All right, that was a bad idea. But you know what? I try my best. <laughs> I definitely tried my best. Uh, so the towing company is is not going to take off with this. It's just not going to happen. Never mind. But uh, it's really cool. The fact that this thing does actually fly is pretty epic. Um, and yeah, it is literally just solar power. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'll link it down below. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.